Ari, I'm very excited to have you here tonight because you are one uh, of Zurich's most famous mansplainers. That is true. Yes, yes. there's uh, literally not a single topic that you cannot mansplain. Correct. Yeah. So as you were uh, doing your little performance there, uh, questions from women all over Zurich and from friends were flooding in, of and we course. hope that you can help them tonight. Uh, so let's start with the first question, actually from my sister Aurélie. Uh, she's 35 years old and she lives in France. Uh, she is frustrated by her career and by society in general. And uh, she's thinking of moving to the countryside. What, do you, uh, what would you tell her, Harry? Well, Anton, the question that immediately springs to mind is, is she having regular periods, you know, like stress, bad diet, sleep loss, all of these things can disturb your period cycle leading you to make terrible decisions. The question I got to ask you, Anton, is are you tracking your sister's periods? No, uh, should I? That is a very good thing, especially for a French family to do, just track your sister's periods. That will, you know, you can be more supportive and ready for her when she has a meltdown. I'm glad, I'm glad. That was a great mansplanation. Uh, I yeah. will uh, I'll definitely try that with my sister. Okay, uh, our second question is from Heidi from uh, Winterthur. Uh, Heidi, uh, Harry, for three months now, it hurts when I insert a tampon. It's a, what can I do? Well, believe it or not, Anton, actually, a lot of women actually don't know how to insert a tampon properly because tampons were designed by men, you know, and they don't want to hear us explain to them how to do it right. Heidi, the right way to do it is you take a deep breath and go, ah, oh, as you stuff the tampon in. That will take the pain away. And if that fails, Get yourself a hobby. Okay, we have some mansplain issues going on over here. That's fine. That's to? fine. Uh, she's she's a friend. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, lots of uh, tension uh, between my guests. Uh, all right. Our our next question, uh, Francisca in Kreis Seven, Kreis Seven in Zurich. I do not manage to convince the board of my company on anything. I feel like they just don't take me seriously. What do you tell to Francisca? Well, Francisca, I can actually hear it in your question that whiny, nagging voice. And when you're in a boardroom, they don't want to hear that stuff. They're just not going to listen. You need to develop, like me, a more mature, calming, middle-aged white male voice. Just end all your sentences on a low note and they'll start listening to you. That's my advice to you, Francisco. All right, thank you, Harry. This is what happens when you have just a Harry Fox. Uh, one last question, maybe we have a live question in our chat uh, from uh, Sasha in Zouk. And uh, no, she's called Alexandra. Uh, is it Alexandra or Sasha? Is, are you Alexandra or Sasha? No, she says her name is Sasha. No, your name is Alexandra. I mean, if you live in Zouk, you have Russian origins. Why are you denying your origins, Alexandra? Own that name in future before you send me a message. All right. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a time to uh, answer uh, Sasha Alexandra's question. Yeah, that's too blue. Uh, she shouldn't have, uh, you know, wasted our time with her fake name. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, let's give a round of applause to our uh, Zurich's favorite mansplainer, Harry Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, he's putting his own applause. <laughs> Harry Fox. That's the end of everything. Well done. <laughs> well done, guys. Please.